The good news. Active cases in India have slipped below 6 lakh for the first time in three months. The bad news. At least 31 American states have broken records for daily new cases. Germany has gone back under a partial lockdown and COVID-19 patients in ICUs have tripled in two weeks. In the UK, authorities are introducing a lockdown till December 2nd. The good news, nearly 92% of all COVID-19 patients in India have recovered. The bad news, 1.22 lakh people in India have died until now. Across the world, 1.2 million people have lost the fight against COVID-19. Hi, my name is Pallavi Prasad and here's what's newsworthy today. Today is the eighth consecutive day that India has recorded fewer than 50,000 new cases in the last 24 hours. October was the first month when the number of new infections showed a decline compared to the previous month. Delhi is in the midst of a third wave of infections. It has been reporting more than 5,000 new cases for the last five days. Its total caseload is headed for 4 lakh. On Sunday, Delhi reported more cases than all of Maharashtra. The Home Ministry has pinned the blame on the festive season, greater movement of people, and general laxity in adhering to safe COVID-19 behavior. After Delhi, Bangalore is seeing a spike in cases, even as Karnataka's overall numbers improve. The city has replaced Pune as the second worst his hit city in the country. It has been recording over 1,000 1, new cases every day for the past few days. There are two more COVID updates you should know about. Rajasthan will soon become the first state in the country to pass a law making face masks mandatory. It has also banned the sale and use of firecrackers ahead of Diwali. And in Maharashtra, the government has started free YouTube classes for 11 standard students to prevent loss of the academic session since there's no clarity on when and how junior colleges will start functioning normally again. In an early sign of success, over 60,000 students enrolled on day one. And internationally, oil prices fell sharply on Monday with new lockdowns across Europe and a terrifying surge in the US. Brent crude, which is the global benchmark, fell as much as 5% in early morning trading in Asia, touching levels last seen in May when the pandemic first gained ground. I'll stop here for today, but if you find value in this COVID-19 bulletin, please share this video. We're also on YouTube and you can find a link to that in our bio. Thank you so much for your time.